Hello everyone, welcome back to another 2v2 Warhammer battle. This is going to be the Unde- or sorry, Vampire Counts, and Bretonia versus Double Beastmen armies. For our armies over here, my front line consists of mostly Skeletal Warriors and the Konigstein Stalkers being led by Heinrich Kimmler and a Necromancer for our leadership. We also have two Puppies and two Cryptors back here, a Mortis Engine, then two normal Black Knights and Varix Reavers. For my ally here, we have six Peasant Mob, two Men at Arms with Pole Arms, the Base Slayers of Baston, three Pox Arrow Peasant Bowmen, two Questy Knights, two Knights of the Realm, two Blessed Field Trippiches, and a Prophetess of the Heavens. For the Beastmen, we have uh, three Centigors with great weapons, including the Sons of Goros. We have a front line of Ungor Spearmen and Ungor Herds, being led by Kazrak the One-Eye and a Brace Shaman of Beasts. They also have Malagor the Dark Omen and another Brace Shaman of Beasts over there. Back line is going to be the Korox Man Rippers and the Best Gores along with the Black Horn uh, Ravagers. Then off to the side, we got double Gorbals and then a whole bunch of Gore Herds with shields. And then two Minotaurs with shields, I believe they both, yeah, both of them have uh, the shields as well. And that's going to be the Double Beastman Army. So they're going to have to suffer through the Blessed Field Trippiche Fire on their approach. I am going to try and initially take the brunt um, of the damage here because, honestly, the... Infantry portion of my allies' army is pretty weak, but they do have a stronger cap here. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I forgot the two harpies that were back here. And also, um, more harpies than the Chaos Warhounds. My bad. I totally forgot to mention those. They're kind of important here because they're going to try and ambush the, um, field shepherd chase here. And I even remember in the battle, I saw them coming in and I was... <laughs> to be quicker, I didn't type it out, but I just, I did this. I was doing this around those harpies. Uh, so they did a lot of good damage there with Blessed Field Trebuchet, and they're going to get out before the Quest Knights get to them. Meanwhile, I'm moving my army over here. We're doing a rear charge on the Spearmen really quickly, then trying to get out. And we're going to draw the Korx Man Rippers over here to the flank, and then pin them down with Skeletal Warriors right there. We're going to get the two puppies, Henry Kimmler and the Necromancer, and Double Cryptors all the way over here to the middle to try and take out the score herds. Again, I'm going to try and take the brunt of all this infantry because my allies' infantry is a little bit of weak. And also, they are now dealing with three different Harpy groups, two of which they've ordered a ton of damage to, and there is still a Chaos Warhound um, of Poison over there. On top of that, these three Centigors are going to be coming over here as well. I think they took it out with the Knights of the Realm. You can see the Pox Arrows flying. So over here you can see I did indeed catch the Scorax Man Rippers with one of my Skeletal Warriors. And we are starting to rout the Ungors and Ungor Spearmen. And now we're dealing with the best Scorax and Kazrak of uh, the One-Eye. We have a Summon Man Score over here that's going to go straight towards the, I believe, the Pez of Bowman, Which you can see this, uh, a third Harpy group went into as well. Currently being dealt with with the Man-at-Arms with Pull-Arms. The Puppies came out and they are now getting killed by the Quest Knights. Double Knights of the Realm are trying to take out three different Scythicors with great weapons over there. It is not actually doing uh, that good for them. Meanwhile, over here, I'm going to try and isolate and destroy the Man Rippers while I can with Double Puppies, uh, Barrack Seekers, Conning Sign Stalkers for their poison damage. And you can see I'm even getting supported here by the Quest Knights. It's going to cast the heal spell on all of these units as the other Black Knights just going around trying to deal what damage they can to the routing units. And the Center is doing pretty well with the Mortis Engine. Um, and of course, Heinrich Kimmler, my Necromancer. Double Cryptors are doing really well against these best scores. And also Kazrak is in there and he's going to start dealing out damage to Heinrich. So I'm going to be summoning Krell here soon-ish to try and assist with, uh, against Kazrak the One-Eyed. Meanwhile over here, the Double Knights of the Realm indeed get crushed by the three Centigors with great weapons. They do a lot of damage on the charge and there were three of them to the two Knights of the Realm. And here comes a Quest Knight to try and hold the Centigors off a little bit longer. Meanwhile over here, the Blackhorn Ravagers managed to get around our units. And they're going to start going to town on these Pez of Bowmen. The Harpies get back from running, and they're also going to start going to town. I think on the Field Trapper, sure, or on these Pez of Bowmen, I can't remember. Over here, I'm going to send the Mortis Engine and the Necromancer as reinforcements to this clump of soldiers still dealing with Korax Man Rippers. Now, also, we have to deal with the two Minotaurs with shields. You can see my allies supporting me with the Curse of the Midnight went here. And now we're going to hit with a Devolve. Flock of Doom, sorry. We have a Flock of Doom and a Heal Spell going on at the same time as my um, ally is now dealing with these Black Horned Ravagers. Again, they're going to do a lot of work here. Quest Knights nice, trying to do what they can against the Sons of Gorus, and the Sons of Gorus doing a lot of good damage, but they are also taking a lot of damage in return. The middle is going pretty well now that Corella has been summoned. We're going to start dealing a lot of damage to Kazrak, the One-Eye. The Gorbul is going to say, well, F this. They're both going to come over here against my Mortis Engine. Now, right here, I was not microing my Mortis Engine, so it's actually going to get surrounded by uh, two Gorbuls here, and I'm just, uh, well, it's not going to be good for the Mortis Engine. Uh, I think I was supposed to focus on trying to micro this fight and make sure that we weren't dying right here because I saw that Krell was taking a lot of damage, so I actually had to cast a single, uh, single heal spell on himself. And that's when I summoned Krell. Um, and now you can see we're dealing with Kazrak the One-Eyed, just Krell going to town on Kazrak uh, with the help of Finder Kimber. You can see we almost died, and that made me panic. 
And I'm not entirely sure why, but the Mortis Engine is now attacking Malagor the Dark Omen. I don't remember giving it that attack order. I was trying to have it shatter these Gore Herds, or at least break them, which it helped do that with its Fear and Terror. And now you can see my Varric Streamers are out here, my Black Knights are out here. We're just trying to kill as many Gore Herds as we can. We will eventually bring both these units back as these Gore Bulls are finishing up my allies' Peasant Mob. And then they're again, they're going to go on this Mortis Engine, which I am just kind of forgetting exists at this point. You can see we're chasing off one of the Brace Shaman Beasts with our puppy. I'm going to actually bring it back because this thing is on a chariot. And it's not really going to be like we're going to be able to catch it because it's on a chariot. So I'm like, ah, forget it. Uh, meanwhile, over here, Krell and Heinrich Kimmer were chasing Kazrak because that was their attack order. But now they're going to come over here to support this battle, battle which is still going on against the two Minotaur Shields and the Corks Man Rippers who have survived this entire fight. And there you, you can see that my Mortis Engine is just getting pounded. And again, for whatever reason, I was just not micring right now. I was more concerned about getting units over here. And I just didn't see this until about right now. And I started giving it move orders, but it's, it's stuck and it's going to die. So I'm going to lose this Mortis Engine. Meanwhile, over here, the Prophetess of Heavens got overwhelmed by the Harpies. And she's being chased off of the map over there. Kazrak comes back. Beast uh, Shammy comes back. We're trying to chase off the Chorus Man Rippers, but we will pull back the Puppy. Because we need both Puppies here to try and deal with the Gorbals, which are now into uh, this massive battle that's been going on for a while. Meanwhile, back here, the Blackhorn Ravagers have just been destroying my allies' infantry and Pezza Bowman. I think they're up to like 200 kill 227 kills. They are just wreaking havoc upon my allies' backline, just killing all these men-at-arms and pole-arms. Um, as far as the knights go, I think most of them are dead. Yeah, Sons of Goros has cleaned up the what remains of most of the knights, and I think the only knights left on the field are going to be mine. My allies, Quest Knights and Knights of the Realm, got killed by the Centagoros with great weapons, but you can see that the Centagoros also took a heavy toll, but at the same time, the Goro, uh, Goros sons are still alive, and my allies still dealing with the Blackhorn Ravages, but I think they finally managed to get them to route. There we go. They did, but those Korox Ravages is so much damage, man. Uh, this wind spell is not going to do too much because most of the damage from a wind spell is actually at the very end of it. So you need to aim it so that, well, the end of it and a little past the end of it is actually hitting the units that you want. Bray Shaman and Beast trying to do as much damage as it can as we finish off these Gorbuls. You can see the double puppy action on a Gorbuls doing really well, keeping knocking him down. Heinrich Kim is going to get in there as well because why not? And you see that the Gorbuls is going to try and get on Heinrich Kim. I'm like, that's fine. We're just going to get Krell over here. We're going to get all our Cryptos over here. We're going to try and pin him down again and finish them off there. Meanwhile, my Black Knights over here trying to take out the Brace Shaman of Beast. Varric's Reavers are mixed into here, I believe. And we got another massive heal spell going down. And there we go, Kazrak. The One Eye is dead. Malagor is still alive over here. The Kazrak is down. Both the Gorbuls are taking a lot of damage. My puppies are still fine. We still have poison damage over there because of the Koningstein Stalkers. Heinrich Kimmler is just doing great because of. Um, we have passive regeneration from the Necromancer. We have passive regeneration from Kimmler when he's in combat. Um, and then, of course, the puppies regenerate on their own. As to the Varric Reavers. So you can see the Varric Reavers are actually filled on the regeneration. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, back here, um, this. I'm not sure what they routed from. Maybe a Sons of Goros charge finished these guys off. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Most of the battle is now happening over here. We still have the Beast Slayers of Bastan taking it to these uh, Gore Herds. Honestly, I thought they died. I didn't even notice them at this part of the battle, but they are still going at it, I guess. Still trying to kill these damn Gorbals. I think we managed to kill one or route one at this point. These Minotaurs came back briefly, and now they're going to route again. Here come the Sons of Goros, but I'm not sorry. Korok Man Rippers, but they don't have enough um, hit points to stay in this fight for long. Well, over here, Cryptor is now going up against the other Gorbal that's still alive in the Brace Shaman of Beasts and Malagor. This is kind of the only pocket of resistance that they have left. Pox Arrows coming down. Blackhorn Ravagers not satisfied with their 233 kills, so they're coming back over here. But that is going to be a victory for the Allied Forces, I guess we should call them. So, good game to Dr. Aegon, Vicio, Alex Vicio, and Cybergrim. Cybergrim? Uh, good game to all those. Sandout units, the puppies always do really well. Cryptors are pretty good. Heinrich Kimmler is squishy, but managed to keep him alive because he wasn't focused down too hard. He almost died to Kazrak in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but then I summoned Krell, and Krell was like, yo, Kazrak, get off my boy. And uh, Kazrak got off his boy. Uh, let's see, for the enemy, though, 233 kills in these Black One Ravagers. Some of those are probably peasant mobs, but a lot of those were also peasant bowmen and the men at arms. Like, they were just devastating the my allies' back line. The best scores did pretty well. The Korok's Man Rippers survived to the very end, even when I tried to isolate and destroy them. Sons of Goros did a ton of damage to my allies' cab, as did the Sons of Goros with great weapons, so they did really well um, in fighting my allies' cab. Minotaurs got a ton of kills against my Skeletal Warriors, Zombies. They did some damage to my puppies a little bit, but the thing is, a lot of their damage was negated because of all the regeneration. I go regeneration heavy whenever I do Kimmler. Like, that's my thing. I wish I had 
pay more attention to the Mortis engine, because that's part of my regeneration little aura there. But I just, for whatever reason, blanked out and let it die to two Gorbals, which was my bad. Um, speaking of, the Gorbals did pretty good as well. So I hope you enjoyed that battle. Oh, well, my bad. Let's go check and see what Miley did. A lot of kills from the Questing Knights. Again, the Knights of Rome kind of got focused down pretty quickly. And at least one of the Busted Food Trebuchets did pretty well. Um... I guess my ally upgraded these all the way? These are not renowned units. So yeah, they had to pay for that. Interesting. I don't know, like I've tested fully upgraded trebuchets and they're not really that accurate because that's kind of what you want to do with artillery. Like the higher they are, the more accurate they become and the, I think the faster they reload. But the trebuchets, even max rank, they don't really, they're not super accurate. So I, I probably wouldn't upgrade these. If that's what you're looking for, I should say. But anyway, let's go watch a uh, cinematic view. Nights. What? Why is my camera going up? Oh, because there's a giant rock line. It's okay. I was like, what the hell is going on? These Ravager units look really cool. Crow fight. Now. A new 
I guess they just routed those Ravagers. Again, I hope you enjoyed the battle, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Take care.